Vimeo is telling creators to suddenly pay thousands of dollars or leave the plot. Get out of here. Yeah, this is true. What? I saw um, this title. I was pretty blown away. Thousands of dollars? It can't yeah. be. Excuse me? Yeah, there's a problem with um, the top 99% of creators there. They have to pay mainly because they're using too much bandwidth in Vimeo servers. Mm. Yeah. Who's using Vimeo? Uh, yeah, that's that's what shot, I was about but... to say. Who, how can it be so much bandwidth? Is anyone still on there? Uh, and um, a lot of the creators are complaining that, hey, Vimeo is just um, putting these numbers out and the real bandwidth is actually not as high as they claim. Mm. Oh, so, so mm, they're whole, saying they're lying on top of it. Yeah, there's a whole story about it because there's a data engineer or data analyst mm -hmm. um, who is a creator that have to pay but decided to look into how Obviously, much bandwidth it's he in takes his profession, yeah. from or he uses from Vimeo. And um, it turns out that he doesn't use as much as they claim. Mm. So he paid less. He only started, uh, started making subscriber-only Patreon content in 2020. Vimeo seemed like the best option for hosting her videos. And Patreon itself didn't offer video hosting. YouTube didn't have the features to protect her work. This is a oh. one, one use case. This is what brought them there. I was already paying 200 a year, which I think is pretty expensive. But I thought, well, it's a quality platform. She uploaded 117 subscriber-only videos so far, and each one only gets 150 views. Her most viewed video has around 815 views. The notice that Vimeo sent Van Barl on March 11th shocked her. Her bandwidth usage was within the top 1% of Vimeo users, the company said. And if she wanted to keep hosting her content on a site, she needed to upgrade Whoa. to a custom plan. Her quoted price, 3500 a year. She was given a week to upgrade her content, decrease her bandwidth usage, or leave Vimeo. Whoa. Oh, my God. It's a shakedown. $3,500. It's a shakedown. I've never had it where a platform reached out to me and was like, pay up or get off. Ooh. So that's one of the creators. It kind of reminds me of uh, like Flickr. Remember Flickr? Did you guys ever post photos there? No. It was a, like a really early repository for photos. And they were like, you mm -hmm. want to keep those full resolution? You better pay this or pay. They had to figure out monetization strategies. And uh, I guess Vimeo is no different. There was a point in time where Vimeo seemed like a valid YouTube alternative. Right. For the, like, I would say a for, lot of the, for For your type. Yeah, the film artsy guys yeah. or girls, we, they would post we. their You stuff. said we. Yes, I did say we. <laughs> did you, have there. you ever posted anything on Vimeo? I have. <laughs> Short films. It makes it really easy Short to submit. Films, yeah. It makes it easy to submit because you put a password on it and then you send it to festivals. Yeah, but you can do a private link on YouTube. Yeah, but that private link can get out. No, you can do it in such a way that it's attached to a Gmail account. You oh. just invite a person to that video. Right. Like so, a Google Drive link type of thing. So then... But I don't, know if that no I don't know if that feature exists in 2020. Mm -hmm. I think it did. But... But you're no, it was a whole image thing. Like it was the serious content was on Vimeo. Yeah. Yeah. And the cat videos were on, on YouTube. YouTube. Yeah. yeah. YouTube so I can't possibly put my artistic work there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Vimeo's um, corporate structure is a bit different now because they used to be claimed as some sort of indie YouTube competitor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now they want this to be, you know, completely different from YouTube where what uh video hosting is the same but they're more on like corporate side like hosting I they're trying know, to find their niche. videos or yeah, something yeah so yeah well it's this it's this thing where youtube is just so dominant and has this uh volume based business model and then you're sitting there saying well where why do we exist or how do we exist or what is our business and you try to go premium with it and say, well, we have these features that, that 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 might be useful to a group who'd be willing to pay for it, but we were no longer interested in trying to compete in the generic, like, upload your videos here scenario. Scroll up just a little bit there, Will. 
Uh, screenshots posted by Channel 5 show their price for a new custom plan starting at $7,000 a year and that an upgrade or migration off of Vimeo was required. Uh, Vimeo bandwidth users calculated using factors like video plays resolution, loading the player, and thumbnail image downloading and live stream according to the company's website. Overage charges aren't imposed unless an account reaches unusually high levels or is in the 99th percentile of users' video. Vimeo places that threshold at around 2 to 3 terabytes per month. So then why is the original individual getting the notice? I presume they're not hitting 2 to 3 terabytes per month. Maybe they are. I guess that's where the scandal comes in. Well, the views only had hundreds of views. Yes. I don't know why. Maybe there's just really long videos that are like... 4k or something it, right hundreds of 8k 3d videos being streamed <laughs> that are 24 sure. hours long and on loop i don't know either way it's not it's not a good look i guess they're rapidly trying to come up become a b2b company yeah uh it is a i mean vimeo vimeo did have a cool moment no doubt but I have a funny feeling if they go this direction, we're going to be hearing about them a lot less. Although we aren't, mm -hmm. aren't really hearing about Vimeo very much anymore. Yeah. It was nice to have some other video place. Right. Like what, I guess now you can upload video on Facebook and Instagram and TikTok and all that. So. Yeah. Where do you put your short films though now, Mo? Haven't had a chance to make any in a while. No, no, I'm saying if you had one, where would you put it now? Yeah, probably straight to YouTube. You're straight to YouTube with that. I don't think you're alone.